right, in today's video, guys, I am making some window latches, putting my blacksmith shoes on to create some really unique window clutches. So a uh, big shout out to Prickly Sauce, who has put the video up, giving me the idea to come up with this style. And then I just added my own little samurai flair to it, okay? Let's get to building some.
how I made things. <laughs> Look at that little sexy piece of kit. Woo. Works better when it's welded. You broke it. So the first piece that I cut, I used this string to measure the length of it. So I'm just going to mimic that on each piece. And I should hopefully get some consistency between the, the three different pieces here. Coilers, hey? Love a good coiler. <laughs> Still 
lovely melody. Eh? Beautiful. Splinter, a little boo boo in my fingy. Oh, one of those invisible ones. Mark I. become a safety glasses model. Uh, I don't always wear safety glasses, but when I do, I make them look Last thing I've got to do is make a little hook latch that this will pull the window closed and hold it there. So we've got the handle and the mechanism, we just need a little pin to latch it onto. So I'm just going to hammer something out here from the forge and hope it works. Well, that was actually a really fun learning experience. Um, the latches look amazing. They work, but I will say a bit better design might have come in handy. The one problem is when I pull this off here, the initial release, it doesn't slide far enough under the catch. So it kind of gets stuck like that. And then I got I got us. I don't know if it's just a little sharp edge or something, or it's just... The forged surface doesn't want to slide on the metal. They look amazing, um, but probably need a little bit more refinement just in functionality. But they definitely do function. I just have to kind of pop that out of the way so that it can open. But it might get smoother over time as the surfaces wear on each other. But now you know how to make a really nice looking latch and you can probably improve the functionality. Overall, I'm super happy with how the latches turned out. 
But feel free to let me know what you think and design changes that I could have done that would have made this whole thing function a little bit better. Uh, drop a comment down in the comment section below. But I got no time to waste because I got to load these up in my truck and get them up to Hartwood, which is the name of our property. Well, the windows are done, minus the most important part, which is the glass. But now we have to, because we can't sit around with these in the shop for two months, we need to take them up to the property, to the cabin and install them. But if you watch my door install video, you can see how stressful it was for me taking the door up to the property because I left it untarped. I'm not doing that again because it got soaking wet. So I went to Princess Auto, got another tarp. I can't even count how many stinking tarps I've bought for Princess Auto. <laughs> and I'll probably have to buy another 20. But at least uh, wrapping these three window frames in a tarp and keeping them strapped down in the back of the van will give me a little peace of mind knowing that I can just drive up there, don't care what the weather is, load them onto the boat, keep them tarped, and they're going to stay in the nice pristine condition. So I hope you like this video, guys. Stay tuned for the install because getting these window frames in will allow me to move on to the electrical and insulating the cabin, which I know a lot of you guys are interested to see how I'm going to do that. So give this video a like. Make sure you're subscribed, guys, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Samuel.